Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Midweek Minutes. Now, you might assume by the position that I'm in that I was taking a nap, and you would be correct. But I'm not here to talk about my sleeping habits. I'm here to talk about Sunday's message. And the title of the message was Assume the Position. And the title had less to do with looking at a situation and coming to some conclusion. But it was more about getting in a position to follow Jesus and follow Jesus' example. Pastor Mike continued our study in the book of Philippians, and the passage was Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. Let me read it for you. Your attitude should be the same that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not demand and cling to his rights as God. He made himself nothing. He took the humble position of a slave and appeared in human form. And in human form, he obediently humbled himself even further by dying a criminal's death on a cross. Because of this, God raised him up to the heights of heaven and gave him a name that is above every other name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now, the first point from Sunday really helped us to get on the right um, frame of mind to understand what assume the position means. The point was, in Christ, we share the position of his humility. Now, humility is less about thinking less of yourself, but it's more about thinking about yourself less so you can think about and act on the well-being of others. Now, I remember years ago, I had the privilege of being a part of an Academy Award winning film. I was just an extra, but it was a fabulous experience where I was able to rub shoulders and elbows with some Hollywood A-listers. I won't mention the name of the film, but I will tell you, there was a time when there was a lady who assumed a position that didn't really fit her bill. She was feeding everyone gumbo. Now, by her feeding everyone, you might think she was a caterer or part of the wait staff. But no, the person who was feeding the crew and everyone else gumbo was none other than award-winning actress, choreographer, singer, and songwriter, Debbie Allen. And she did this because she was demonstrating a love and a care for all of us who were producing and making this um, monumental film. And not only did she feed us the gumbo, she actually made the gumbo from scratch. So she was blessing us with her homemade gumbo and delivering it to us personally. So she assumed the position of someone who was serving others. And that's the position we're to assume. And that first starts with humility. Too often I see believers who demand that they be heard and there's nothing wrong with being bold in Christ. In fact, we're commanded to be bold in Christ. But we have to first understand that we must take a position of humility like Christ did. He could have called down 10,000 angels when he was up on that cross, but he didn't. He thought of himself less so he could think about and act on the well-being of others. And because he assumed the position, you and I can have a right position with God through faith in Jesus Christ. And that's what we're called to do. We're called to assume the position of humility so that we can be in the right position to be used by God to bring him glory and honor. So I encourage you, don't assume the position that demands your way, but assume the position like Christ of humility that allows for you to serve others and think of others more than you think of self. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Midweek Minutes. And I have some unfinished business. Goodbye for now. Hmm.